Hello everybody, Mr. Power 46 here. And I decided to change my accent, but only temporarily. For some reason my voice likes to do that. On purpose sometimes, not always. Anyway, in this episode, we're going to get out of this prickly situation. And of course, they give the answer to the puzzle because you know it wasn't obvious enough breaking through and then hey look time for surfing this is in one of the promotional pictures and of course we even lose the substitute costumes so now we've got an issue now we have to get our costumes back First of all, though, break the sign. Because somehow we didn't break it the first time, but we can break it the second time. The first time, we didn't have any problems. Now, hey look! There is a box here. Some repetition I sense. And then suddenly, philosophical. So, he goes, he pretty much goes, never mind, and those are the monsters that uh, were ordered to burn our costumes, but we can't go battle them, because we have no costumes. And why there's a big old briar, or bear, briar patch barrier right here, no one knows. Seems like a bad idea. Hey look, a kid behind a rock. Guess what side quest we're doing again? Hide and seek. And we want to get here. It costs five dollars if I'm wearing a costume. But if I'm not, supposedly it costs a million dollars. So, let's beat up things on the way to another place. Now, there was a bug with this, this current quest, although we haven't quite started it. Well, first, he wants a specific one, naturally. And look! Another briar patch. How did the kid get over it? We can't do that! And Wizard of Oz reference, a very, very old reference, like way older than my time. <laughs> Just, my parents really like that show. And look, a treasure chest. Lots of candy, a hundred pieces. So now I have 444 candy. Now time to beat up pumpkins. Glowing pumpkins at that. More glowing pumpkin beating. And this one wants, wants me to lure a few people with, with my super awesome fry costume that he just gave me. Now there was a bug with this where in the Xbox 360 version, if you started a game before the update that allowed you to save anywhere and then updated it to that uh, then this quest wouldn't work because what's supposed to happen is this they have a drumstick over their head you press B and they get attracted to you because they can smell it and they're hungry but they wouldn't follow you if you ran into that bug so, yeah, you'd have to restart the entire game if you did that. And this is pretty much near the end of the game. So it was a problem. And really, that's an actual one. Interesting. And it would be a little dangerous to go knocking on doors with only one costume. So it doesn't allow us to do it. 
And of course, always beat the trash, the trash cans for candy. Hey, look, Sadie's here again. Well, I'll ignore you for now. And another hungry trick or treater. This time, she's the devil instead of the princess. French fries. And yes. It glows when you press B. Kind of an odd thing, but there's lots of odd things in this game. I've been told by someone that this is quite a trippy game, in their opinion. And ooh, I think it's a vampire this time that uh, wants to have some food. Let's see. No, it's a skeleton. Skeleton this time. Okay. And, ooh, food, he says, basically. And now, I get some tickets to the carnival so that I don't even have to fa pay the five bucks. That's with costume. But, first I'm going to check on, on Sadie, even though I think I've got... I don't think I have enough for any more. And that's her outside voice. He, and her father is a little excited because she, he thinks that she's camping with us. And more battle stamps. Hey look, a wall. A crumbling wall. There's only one issue. Can't punch it from this side. Now, believe it or not, you can punch it from the other side, and it'll destroy itself. And the joke of so metal is the joke of the day. Especially since, before this game, they made, Double Fine made a game by the name of Brutal Legend. Which, you might be able to describe as so metal. Yes. It was an interesting game. One of my least favorites from Double Fine, but, you know. Time. Because, now, they are hungry. Now, let's put them in the barn. Now, remember, only do it one at a time. Because otherwise, they'll just catch you. And the ravens are hungry. And somehow, we find a hole there. And of course, the chest slides there, because apparently they were keeping it up. And look, we got costumes back. Now, I don't like the French fry costume so much, even though it's all about the stuns. So let's do this. There are some better stuns later on, of course. And time to save a little bit. But let's talk to this guy. He lets us come in. And he's giving us a costume pattern because the... Uh, Ferris wheel is broken, and hey, there's a person here who wants to talk to us. He knows us somehow. Reynolds surprised. So dramatic. Plot twist, yep. Of course. And this is the more non-dramatic way, of course. Dorian kind of fears her a little bit. Top of the Ferris wheel. And of course, drama. All's fair that ends fair. Now, I'm curious of something, so just a moment.
Okay, I'm back. Just took a moment. I was curious if I had any viewers on the live stream. By the way, I was, I'm live streaming this. All the candy. Of course, they're shaking the candy out of them. That's kind of mean. Also, another thing. There. Okay. Lots of candy. And of course, time for battle. New type of enemy. Much like every other new type of enemy. Up until this point, other than when they introduced magic users. They're just uh, pretty much a recolor, as it would be called. Although, functionally, they're a recolor. In reality, they're technically not a recolor. But, they're functionally the same other than level. They have the same health, they don't do anything different. Time to attack the next guy. And I do missile barrage, but once again, we have the crappy stuns. And it would have broken the stun of the Grebin Guardsmen, and then any stuns I did after that would have also broken the uh, any stuns I ap applied after that for another extra turn. It's a problem. Toilet paper. Because you know how many kids go TP on Halloween. Not a good thing, but lots of kids do it. Still not a good thing. Just a note about that. Oh, that did less than I expected. That's a problem. Well, that's good. Chocolate hamburger and misfortune cookies. Hey look, lots of candy on the ground. And let's talk to this guy. Uh-oh. We need another way up. Hey look, a costume material. Fangs. Can you guess what this one's gonna be? Depends on which version of what it is that you subscribe to the more modern tamer version or the older version as to how obvious that is so hey look a cannon that's pointed straight at the ferris wheel that doesn't sound like a bad idea at all Sounds like the best idea! And actually, I'm gonna go do s Oh, and look! An enemy. Let's punch him! Of course, since he's a bird, he makes a polymonic cracker joke. Oh, that's a bad combo. That's a dangerous combo. Wow. But, if I'm lucky, yep, I only take two hits to take down. Wrong button. Must do right button. Mages are dangerous, although frail. Let's take a take out the Crest Whaler Mystic. 
and this attack is okay. I was gonna say the point of no return. Oh, and another form of toothpaste candy. It's a good thing you're healed between battles, otherwise this would be much harder. And I figured I'd check with that kid to see if I got the specific card he wanted. Trick or treat! Hey look! It's just a regular grown-up. Time for the next house. Trick or treat. Another one. We have fancy costumes, apparently. And suddenly I went into my announcer voice. No idea why. Uh oh. Time for battle! And another one. Another recolor. And of course, stun them both. Quite powerful. I can't wait until I get the better stun though. That'll be awesome. One's dead. Time to kill the other. And it's good to do the stuns whenever possible. Unless, of course, possible means after someone... After the robot did this. Then just go all out unless you have the upgraded stun that I'm looking forward to. Salmon rings. Sounds like an excellent candy, doesn't it? No, not really. Oh no, I've been being waited for for eight. Now, the question is, what did these monsters do to the adults? I can imagine it was a little bit of damage to the adults. Maybe a little death. Who knows? Well, maybe not a little death. It's not that type of game. So much. Stun, stun, dun, dun, dun. Time to take this guy out. And basic attack. And stun, stun, stun. That was a bad time. Anyway. I'm not gonna do it this time. I'm stun the enemy. Now I might try something slightly risky, although I think this battle's pretty much won. Time for the risk. I think he's dead, but now he's definitely Human crackers. Interesting. They liked naming these things. Uh oh. Kinda dangerous. Because apparently, monsters are big kids. Happy Halloween, says this house. Uh oh. White mages. Uh oh, that's a bad sign. Other than it's dead now. That fake the wolf is or what jawbone of the wolf is pretty powerful.
but the mages are kind of glass cannons, as the phrase goes. Ooh, this is risky. I'll be risky. Yep, that risk didn't pay off. Oh well. Now time to kill the mage. And the other guy too. It's almost as if I planned out the battle. I didn't though. Street shoes. In other words, candy. I didn't even know this was here. Wow. Anyway. I seriously did not know that was there. Wow, I didn't even notice that. You learn something new every day. So they don't have a ton, apparently. So, they give a ton. Hello, kid. Ah. I think that's partially he's saying not everyone is attracted to the Fry costume. Delicious human. No idea how well that came out. This episode might be going a little long, actually. After this battle, I think we're gonna have to call it in for this episode. Next time on Costume Quest, we'll continue to trick or treat. It's that simple. But, first, a battle! The end of a battle. Now, I'm not gonna take that risk this time. It'll just be stunned, and stunned, and stunned forever. Now, I might have to take that risk. I think I'll do it. Well, they're definitely gonna die because of the burn status effect, I'll call it. Unicorn pellets, yep. You know what that is. So, I suppose that's the end of the episode. I am Mr. Power46, signing out with no idea how to do an intro, or outro, of course. Thus, ends the episode. Goodbye.